Today, you know spring is officially here, and it is the perfect time to shake off those winter blues and get moving again. Joining us now to help focus on our fitness as those temperatures continue to climb is Dr. Katie Roberts with UK Healthcare. Dr. Roberts, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. Yeah, thank you for having me this afternoon. So I guess the first things first, where do people get started? I think we all kind of get in a rut in the winter. You know, like we said, you get those winter blues and just kind of hibernate a little bit. So, so what's your advice for just getting started? So an easy way to get started um, really is to pick something easy and doable for you. Um, so as far as picking an activity, even, you know, five to 10 minutes of walking is going to be really beneficial for your health. Uh, and you know, not only um, for your health, like physical, but also for your mental health. So what do you say to people who don't consider themselves to be workout fiends, or maybe they, they haven't really had a fitness plan for a while? I really think you have to find your why, and I think that's different for everyone. Um, so for some people, that's feeling better after, after they work out. For other people, that's being active because you have a new grandbaby and you want to be around for them or even for your kids as they're starting to get older and you want to be able to participate uh, in activities with them. There are definitely going to be days uh, where all of us don't want to get out and be active. but. If you know that's something that you do every day, that is part of your daily routine is to get out and be active, again, even for just 10 or 15 minutes, uh, because you know the reasons why you're doing that, I, I think is a good start. Is it good to find a buddy, maybe find your who as well? Yes, there is nothing like having someone else relying on you to help you show up. Uh, if you, you know, are lucky enough to have a good friend or a coworker, even, I find that can be really helpful if you have a 30 to 45 minute lunch break and you have a good coworker that maybe you tend to go out to lunch with. Maybe now you will spend half or all of your lunch break if it's a nice day um, eating on the go, eating something that you can hold in your hand and just kind of going on a casual walk on your lunch break. All great tips, great advice, Dr. Roberts. Thank you so much.